Hey guys, it's Nawazul Singh Jadeja, and in today's lecture, we are going to talk on how to install Rapid Miner. So, for those who are not knowing what exactly Rapid Miner is, Rapid Miner is a machine learning tool which is used for different purposes, and it has inbuilt libraries, inbuilt functions, which make it a very effective and a very good tool for applying different machine learning algorithms on different types of data. So as you can see it in here, we have RapidMiner website open in here. So you have to go to RapidMiner.com and that we have the downloads option or get started. So as you can see it in here, we have the three different versions which are available, which is RapidMiner Go. So here they say explore ML in a fully automated and guided web interface. So this is a web interface. This is a complete studio, RapidMiner Studio. So this you can download clicking here and the third one is an educational program and now I being a part of an education uh, you know institute and I'm being a professor I like to apply for this and get an education license so once I click on this it is asking me to fill up a form so you know you have to fill in your form with your email address you have to specify whether you are a student professor instructor or a researcher and given the details and click on the downloads so you will get a rapid minor exe file for the windows for the you know linux and different operating systems whatever your appropriate operating system is you have to download that i already done that process so i'll move forward and uh, show you how the installation happens So now that I've installed in here, Rapid Miner, you can see there are different options in here. So we'll get familiar with each of them in detail in the further videos. But let's just a quick overview of the things. So here you get a lot of tutorials, a lot of help in regards to what Rapid Miner is, what different functionalities it supports. Here you will have different you know repositories which you can add. So in case you have a repository, you have a database, you can put it in here. Here you will get all the operators to apply and then this is the place where you will see the results coming. All right? You can modify the parameters from here. You can run the algorithms and in here you can apply different data mining, machine learning applications, configurations onto the data. So uh, in the next video we will see how these different functions work. If you like our video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.